So what we wanted to show tonight was that we could teach a machine to detect uh, what a person was attending to. So the experiment was to have two people speaking and we had a subject who was listening to the speech sounds and then we were trying to detect from the EEG, EEG signals which speaker the subject was listening to. Oh my gosh, Olivia thought in, in shock. She'd never even heard of great Edna before. People now use my home mother has lost her mind. She glanced at Camilla, who so looked even more confused than Olivia felt. Gotcha. Then oh, turned back and said, and you're excited, excited about happen. this? The internet the is gay of viruses and worms. Who do you does this? So the purpose of the demo was to use a human being uh, who pays attention to a particular stream of audio uh, and see if we could decode out of two choices of audio which one the subject was attending to. Uh, we did this by putting the subject into an EEG recording uh, setup that consisted of a brain vision EEG cap and amplifier uh, that was hooked up to a piece of open source software that passed the EEG signals uh, to a second computer uh, that was running a decoder program. The second computer was uh, decoding the EEG signal and correlating it with the audio that was being delivered by a Visisonics audio camera, which is a camera uh, shaped like a mace. Uh, it has a large black ball on top which uh, looks like a microphone but has 64 different microphones in it and a number of different cameras and it uh, is an omnidirectional microphone that collects the audio for the entire scene and presents it back to the subject who's wearing the, uh, the EEG headset. Now in this case the scene consisted of two people uh, who would read from a pre-selected piece of text the person who was wearing the EEG headset did not know until the start of the experiment which person they would be preferentially listening to. The person wearing the EEG cap uh, was directed to one speaker or the other by the use of a key phrase at the beginning of the audio stream. So in this particular case we used the key phrase Red Ringo with the dummy phrase being Green Angel. So when the person in the EEG headset hears the start of the two speakers talking, the first thing he hears is Red Ringo, and from then on he wants to pay attention to the person who is reading from the Red Ringo stream. Just purely by brain power, we are able to decode in real time how, um, what particular story he's listening to. This computer is able to take the signal, decode it, and then project the answer as the, as the computer sees it um, onto the screen where um, I guess Radio. the, Chapter six. the Four, box, seven, the box encircling the particular speaker would be the solution that the computer has found. She pointed all down the breakfast table and switched on the TV, just in time to catch the opening credits of the morning star, which consisted of Serena Star's smiling face superimposed on the Statue of Liberty. Today the announcer's voice said, Serena Star digs deeper into what's wrong with Franklin Grove. What's wrong with Franklin Grove? What do you think she's going to dig up today? I thought nervously, but her curiosity was immediately thwarted by a commercial break. I was the subject in, uh, I was basically had to sit very still and when I was given the call sign had to listen to one of the two speakers who said uh, Red Ringo I believe and attend to them. I heard sounds basically coming from two sides and um, had to pick one out and in the initial phases it was hard to disentangle the two but once you sort of caught on to one you could just sit still and, and attend hard and, and let the decoder do that. Um, the goal was to to identify the speaker and put a box around the person who was speaking and we were able to do that with pretty high success um, and what we hope to do with this is to um, both answer some scientific questions about how people attend to different sounds and how the brain figures out what to attend to and also to um, do some practical applications like um, 
you w might want to build a machine that pays special attention to the things that you're attending to. So you're trying to listen to somebody, you're trying to look at something, and you, the machine can say, well, I know you're listening to this, I'm li listening to that, so let's attend to that. Um, another alternative is um, you might have a machine that, that pays more attention to things that you're not watching. So if you're watching something, then it's going to watch everything else. And the third application is something like a uh, hearing aid, where you want a hearing aid to um, do different things depending on what kind of sounds you're attending to. So if you're listening to music, then you then you listen to the music. And if you're um, you know listening to speech, then you want to pay more attention to the speech. And so that's what we're hoping to do with all these kinds of, of machines.